Hi class, since it's the first day of school, the school organized a school tour to show the energy efficiencies put in place by the National Environment Agency recently. First, we have thermal insulation which reduces the conductive heat transfer components of external loads. We also have insulated glazing which also reduces conductive heat transfer through glazing. Next, we have a double skin facade which reduces cooling load. Facade greenery shades the surfaces and cools the air through evapotranspiration. The cool paint uses reflex solar IR, reducing key absorption which reduces the cooling load. We also have radiant cooling panels that cools the space by a combination of natural convection and radiation. Our active chilled beam is similar to radiant cooling panels, except that the ACB has an integral air supply. Our evaporative cooler has a cold water core that draws in warm air that is cooled by chilled water, which is passed through an evaporative panel to produce super cool air. In addition, the building is made of insulating materials like lightweight construction materials that improves the building thermal properties and water insulation. The walls have a cool paint incorporating phase change material, PCM, that has a high solar reflectance, self-cleaning capabilities, and PCM thermal buffering. We also have energy harvesting clear gas that reduces solar heat while producing renewable energy. The energy efficiencies mentioned help to drastically reduce the use of air conditioners. All the air conditioners can accept both DC power generated by photovoltaic and AC power from the normal grid. All the lights in the school are LED lighting. The occupancy-driven lighting control system put in place has a potential of 20% improvement in energy saving compared to normal LED lighting. All the lights in the school other than in the canteen, library and pool are activated only when there is an occupant. Furthermore, we have a hydropower system that uses rainwater collected in our drainage system to generate electricity stored in our backup generator. Basically, before the water goes through a pipe that leads to new water, it spins a turbine to generate electricity. Last but not least, we have a solar panels that help to power the whole school and excess solar energy is stored in our backup generator. The backup generator kicks in only when there is not enough light from the sun to power the school. The solar panels may not be very reliable as on rainy days, clouds may block the light from the sun. Although the solar panels are also expensive, in the long run, they will definitely help our school be more energy efficient. Our hydropower system is also not very reliable as it is dependent on rain. However, the small addition of a turbine to our drainage system will overall make an effect on the energy efficiency of the school. Both strategies are environmentally friendly and will not disrupt any ecosystems.